at the counter for a writing lesson. Hi, I'm your writing instructor. My name is Anne. Write your name and age here. You will be in the intermediate course. Go to the stable and choose a horse. You will be Hi, and welcome to the intermediate course. Now you're going to learn more about riding. We begin with the rein back, which means that you're going to make the horse walk backwards. Watch Lisa while I describe how you do it. To make the horse understand that he should step backwards, you have to tell him to move by using the legs. As the horse wants to move forward, the hands prevent it and you say, backwards. In other words, apply both legs and close the hands softly at the same time. When the horse steps backward, ease your reins. That is his reward for doing it right. Take with the hand if the horse stops until you have walked the number of steps you wanted. A horse can go into left canter or right canter, depending on which foreleg is leading the movement. When the horse is cantering freely in the field, he chooses the canter that suits him for the moment. With the rider, it's easiest for the horse to canter to the left when you ride on the left hand, and to canter to the right when you ride on the right hand. But you must show him the way. The most common way to strike off into canter is to squeeze with a leg by the girth. That is the inside leg for left canter, and the outside leg for right canter. Move the other leg slightly behind the girth. Here you see Lisa and Cloud at right canter. To make Cloud understand that Lisa wants him to canter on the right lead, she must place the right leg by the girth, and the left leg behind the girth, and then squeeze. What kind of canter is shown in the video? Well done, that was correct. To bother the horse as little as possible when he's using his back, you can ride in the forward seat, or the hunt seat as it's also called. This is often used when the horse is climbing a hill in the woods, or when jumping poles and cavaletti. Cavaletti are poles placed a bit above the ground to make the horse really lift his legs. When you're riding in the forward seat, you need to shorten the stirrup leathers. Adjust the leathers before riding. Practicing riding over cavaletti and poles is often done in connection with jumping. Then the rider gets to practice his or her balance, and the horse to keep track of his legs. After a series of poles or cavaletti, a small fence is usually put up. When the horse jumps the fence, you must allow your hands to follow the movement of his head and neck so that you don't pull at his mouth. This is called to give with the hands. You may also raise your seat from the saddle so that the horse's back is free to move. This is more or less the same as riding in a forward seat. Which one of the riders is riding in a forward seat? Well done, that was correct. The walk is the slowest pace. Here you see Cloud walking. When the horse is trotting, he's running. Here you see Lisa sitting to the trot.
can also rise to the trot. The canter is the horse's fastest pace. Here you see Lisa and Cloud at a swift canter. You can ride on a straight track, straight ahead. But when you turn the horse, you must bend the horse's body in the direction you turn. Here Lisa is turning in one of the corners of the arena. And here she is riding a circle. Now we're going to learn the school figures. In an arena, you don't ride just any way you like, but follow certain school figures. During the lesson, the instructor will tell you what figure to ride. If you want to enter a dressage competition later on, you must know the school figures by heart. Watch while I describe the different figures. This is the center line. Here you mount and dismount your horse. You may also cross down center line. That is one of the figures. Going large means riding along the walls or following the rails surrounding the arena. When making a change of rein on the diagonal across the whole arena, you always start at the corner furthest away on the short side, like this. This is a change of rein on the diagonal across half the arena. This is how you cross over the arena. When you ride, the horse is exercised and the school figures are of good use. For example, when you make a circle, the horse should bend like a banana. This makes it soft and light. You can ride small and larger circles. You can make a half circle if you're changing rain. When the instructor says that you should ride the 20 meter circle, she means like this. And this is the 20 meter circle at the center of the arena. Serpentines are also good exercise. A three-loop serpentine is managed most easily by using the three circles. First the horse is bent like a banana, then straight, before you bend it in the other direction. Of course it's also possible to ride more but smaller loops. Let's begin by going large on the right hand. Well done, that was correct. At M, change rein on the diagonal to K. Well done, that was correct. Make a 10 meter circle at B. Sorry, that was wrong. Try again. Sorry, that was wrong. Try again. Well done, that was correct. At C, cross the arena down center line. At A, change rein in the right hand. Well done, that was correct. Make a half circle at E. Well done, that was correct. Cross half the arena at A. Sorry, 
Sorry, that was wrong. Try again. 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 Well done, that was correct. Change rain on the diagonal from F. Well done, that was correct. Two turns on the 20 meter circle. Sorry, that was wrong. Try again. Well done, that was correct. Make a nice three-loop serpentine across the arena. Well done, that was correct. Change rain at E. Come to halt at the center line. Sorry, that was wrong. Try again. Well done, that was correct. Well done. Lead your horse to the stable and take good care of it. If you want to move on to the advanced course, you can register by filling out this form that I've brought with me. Hi, I'm your writing instructor. My name is Anne. Write your name and age here. You will be in the advanced course. Go to the stable and choose a horse.